of expanding on some of the things that I talked about. We have an awesome trainer. She's a premier director and also a PhD in immunology, a certified personal trainer, a certified nutritionist. She's worked for the National Institute of Health. She's just overall um, awesome. And uh, please welcome to share her knowledge with you, um, MC Davidson. Hi, everybody. Thank Hi. you very much. Oh my gosh, such a nice introduction. And Amber, you touched on everything so well. I feel like, you know, you could have done my portion of it, but we're going to dive even deeper into the science part of it um, because that's what I'm always into. And I'm going to try to say it all in words that everybody will understand. So um, if there's questions, I can answer those, you know, later, you can always reach out to me, um, whatever. So let's just get started. Um, before I get into the actual science behind fat browning, I just want to start by saying you guys are going to get lots of questions from your customers, like even before they try it, most times before they try it, they're going to ask you, um, I think, three questions. And the first question is, why is it so expensive? The second question is, I have a high school reunion or a wedding or whatever next week, and I want to lose 30 pounds. Is that possible? And then the third one is about the protein powder. They're going to say, well, there's so many protein powders on the market. What makes Neora Fit protein powder um, stand out? Or why is it better than anything else? So let's walk through those questions um, before we get into the science. So the first one was the cost. I personally think it is not expensive at all. It, it's very low in price um, and almost to the point where I'm surprised it's so low because if you tried to reproduce what was in each one of the packets, um, to try to create it for yourself because you want to save money or whatever, it would cost you two to three times the amount per month um, that this whole system costs you to reproduce it. So people think they have this idea in their mind that they're going to find this thing that's going to allow them to lose all this weight and it's going to cost them pennies, right? It's going to be as much as their Starbucks. Well, it, it's not, that's not reality. So this is very economical. It has high quality components that, like I said, if you had to go reproduce would be very expensive. All right, so that's the cost. It's, it's cheap. Let's just say that it's very inexpensive. The second one is they wanna lose weight fast. Everybody wants to lose weight fast. And I know Amber touched upon this is that we're all looking for the magic bullet, but this system is about um, a lifestyle change. It's about the long term, and it's about your health, really. As much as weight loss and weight management, it's about health. Because if your health isn't, you know, running on all cylinders, you're going to have a, a really difficult time trying to lose weight or maintain weight or or work with any kind of weight management. So um, there's no fast, right? But that being said, everybody's going to respond to this system at a different rate because we're all different. We're all different ages, we're, we're male, we're female. Our systems are unique, we're a unique individual. So you're gonna have that customer that says, well, my girlfriend, started it a month ago and she's already lost 20 pounds. I started it a month ago and I've lost three pounds. So you just have to calm them down. And we're, we're going to get into why that happens, but always stress that the, the system takes 90 days to evaluate. It may go faster for some and it may go actually longer than 90 days for some, but 90 days is your time frame that you suggest to them that they need to do to really get a good evaluation of the system and let it really work on their body. Um, so no, they're not going to lose 30 pounds in a week. And if they do lose 30 pounds in the week doing something else, chances are they're not going to feel so great at their high school reunion or that wedding. Probably they won't even be there, but all right. And then the last one, what makes the protein powder um, stand out? 
compared to all the other ones that are on the market. And I'm going to talk about that towards um, towards the end, so I'm not going to get into that now. So let's let's just start the slides, and we're going to get into fat browning. So we'll start there. Yep. Yeah? Okay. So I really um, liked what Amber said, and you guys have to really understand this: that Neora is always ahead of the curve. We're always ahead of what's happening in mainstream, you know, health, wellness, beauty, skincare, all of it. Um, and fat browning, like she said, is just starting to peek over the edge. People are just starting to hear about it. They're just starting to kind of look into it. But you guys are going to know all about it. You guys are going to say that's old news. We, you know, we have this system. People are getting amazing results with this system. We all know about fat browning. So we're going to learn about fat browning. Um, but I like the fact that she did bring that up because I would have forgot to say that, that it, it is, we are so far ahead of the curve. So what causes fat, right? So we all know junk food, all of that, but that's not the only way that fat, it doesn't have to be like you're always eating McDonald's or you're eating junk food or snacks or whatever. All it is, is an excess of calories taken in, so which is then stored in your body as stored energy, which sounds nicer than fat, right? You're going to store all this energy because at some point you're going to need it um, to go about your daily activity. So it gets to be a problem when you're taking in more calories than you're expending. So if your activity during the day doesn't exceed the calories you're going to take in, your body just stores it. That's just what it does, and it stores it up because it's going to save it for another time. If you continue to do this, over time, that fat then starts to build up around um, your body, and especially in places that you don't want it, right? So our bellies, our legs, our um, backside, wherever you carry your weight. Um, and so the fat cells, you all, we're all born with a certain amount of fat cells. And I'm talking about white fat right now. So you're born with a certain amount of white fat. That number doesn't change unless something happens to those cells and they happen to die. But in general, those cells just get bigger and get smaller as you put in excess energy or fat to it. The cell gets bigger. It, it expands. You see that on your body when you look in the mirror. When you lose weight, that energy is expended, and then the cell gets smaller, actually physically smaller. So, but the cells stay there. They're, they're, not, they're not going anywhere. They're there just kind of waiting to be a little storehouse. Um, okay, can I have the next slide? So there's always this term of good fat and bad fat, which I'm not a huge fan of that because I hate to vilify white fat, um, but it's it's gotten a bad rap because it's what we're always trying to get rid of, right? We're always trying to get rid of fat, but fat serves a purpose and white fat serves a purpose at the right amount. So it's there to insulate our organs, to support our organs, and to have energy kind of available when we need it on, in times of deficit. So it, it's not a bad thing until, until you get too much of the white of the lipid, which is the yellow. So you can see in the first cell there, the lipid droplet. So in a white fat cell, the lipid droplet, droplet just keeps expanding as energy is put into it or lipids are put into it. And lipid is another word for a fat molecule or a fat component. It's energy stored into that little droplet and it just expands um, as you take in excess calories. So a typical white fat cell is very sluggish. It's just sitting there. It's kind of like your refrigerator full of food. It's just sitting there waiting for somebody to open the door and take food out. If you're not opening that door because you, you're kind of sedentary or you're not expending it, that's just sitting there, that food's just sitting in there. Okay, so that's what white fat is. We, the other cells that we have are called brown fat. Now, brown fat is something that 
in science that we've known about for, for a long time, but it was always assumed that as you became an adult, it, it lost its, um, it's lost its purpose and that you actually lost a lot of the brown fat cells. They were there originally when you're an infant and you're born, your body doesn't have much um, white fat, meaning it doesn't have much energy stored into those fat cells. So it needed the brown fat to keep you warm. When you're born into a harsh environment, say in the days when we were born as cavemen, you had to stay warm. So once the baby starts to eat food, then the brown fat kind of was pushed to the side and the white fat took over and the energy was stored in white fat. And the science assumed that was the end of the story. The brown fat was um, constitutive, meaning it was there at birth, doesn't play a big role. So about 10 or 12 years ago, the science um, kind of took a shift when it was and it when it was looking at um, people with diabetes and obese people and seeing um, their glucose metabolism, which is highly affected by white fat and brown fat. Um, so they started looking at an animal model and saw, wait a minute, these animals, the adult and the infant anim animals, ha still have brown fat. So then it was kind of looked at, well, what happens if we kind of stimulate the, the animal? Will that white fat convert to brown fat? Because if it does, it was known that brown fat is much more metabolic. So it's burning its energy much faster um, than the white fat cells. So like it shows here with all the mitochondria that Amber had talked about, that's the, they call that the powerhouse of the cell. That's where energy is produced. Energy can be um, produced in different forms, but in the case of a brown fat cell, it is pushed to produce or reuse its energy in the form of heat. So it produces heat, which is called thermogenesis. So it expels heat, burns up all of those um, fat droplets um, that contain the kind of the uh, precursors necessary to create heat. Um, so they... So that, that, and then they started looking at this. Is there a way to do this con conversion? Can we get white fat cells to turn into a brown fat cell? So can I have the next slide? So the LV on here is lipid vacuole or vessel. You can think of it as a vessel of vacuoles, just like a little deposit area. So if you can see by the arrows, and this is something to remember. So fat browning, you're gonna start with the white fat, you're gonna go to the brown, right? You can go in reverse. So you can take your brown fat, can now go back yeah. to be a white fat cell. So there's these two kinds of cells, but there's brown fat that you were born with that started out as brown fat, never was white fat. It can't go back to white fat, it sits as brown fat. Then there's these cells that are recruitive, they're called, white fat cells that can be converted to brown fat cells and they go through a phase called beige or bright cells where they start making more mitochondria, they start um, producing the, what you see on the on the chart is UP or UCP1, it's uncoupling protein one. And uncoupling protein one is the protein that is is probably the most important protein in the fat processing browning process because it is what tells the cell and the mitochondria to shift its its energy production to heat. So it might, that brown fat, fat cell might kind of just be sitting there kind of humming along. And then it, the, the uncoupling protein says, start making heat. And then the heat, um, it starts making heat. And that is based on if the organism is in the cold, certain um, dietary components, which we're going to get into, things like that can, can induce that conversion. So this system focuses on those cells, those white fat cells that can be converted to beige cells or brown fat cells. So there's 
a cohort of your fat that can be converted. Most likely, most of your white fat can do this conversion, um, but it's gonna do it at a different rate. And that rate is gonna be different for all of us, just like we talked about, and we'll talk about that again. Um, okay, so can I have the next slide? So this is where Neora jumped in to the work. So they saw this research going on and they were like, wow, so these cells can be converted. And once the white fat is converted to brown fat, that brown fat then produces heat, uses up all that stored energy, and the person then starts to lose inches and pounds. And, and another key thing to be aware of to tell your customers is that most likely they're going to lose inches before they lose pounds. That's why we tell everybody to take your measurements at the start and, and maybe once a month remeasure yourself because brown fat is much um, more dense and smaller. So even though in the diagrams, the cells look the same size, in reality, they're not. Brown fat cells are much smaller. Those, those fat droplets are much smaller. There's many of them, but they're much smaller. So it takes up less space. So people will lose inches, most likely before pounds. Eventually the pounds will come off, but first the inches will come off. Um, so just kind of set them up with that expectation when they say, I haven't lost any pounds on the scale to say, okay, measure and see where you're at with the tape measure. So Neora said, okay, can we create some kind of system that's, that's portable, which this is, right? Easy for everybody to do. Um, and that can be done via dietary components. And which was genius because that's what they created is a system. And, and it really is something that everybody can do for the most part. Um, the only caveat being if one of your customers says, can I take this if I'm X, Y, and Z? And if X, Y, and Z are, I'm on these medications or I have this condition or I'm pregnant or I'm nursing, whatever, you, you make sure to say, here's the ingredient list, take it to your doctor, show them everything that's in the ingredient list, and then you can make the decision on whether it's okay for them. But for the most part, most all adults can do this system. So they looked at all the components that help to do this fat browning process and, and designed the system around that. And the other thing that was genius about the system is that they didn't just design it around the components, they designed it around your circadian rhythms. So time of day and where your body is at different times um, of the day. So I feel like that's pretty amazing to not only bring in the, the dietary components, but also your circadian rhythm, which is so crucial to weight management. Um, and we're going to get into that. Okay, so you can take the slide off and we're just going to start going through um, each packet. So you guys probably, hopefully you've seen the packets. I'm hoping you guys have all tried the system and that's another thing. Try it. If you haven't tried it, it's really important to try it so that you have knowledge about how things taste and how you felt with it to to tell your customers. Um, okay, so let's get started with the first packet. And, and the other thing that's genius about these is that they are packets that don't have to be refrigerated. You can put them in your um, luggage, your purse, your bag, whatever, They're, you take them with you. There's no reason not to take them, right? <laughs> the only reason is that we forget. And, you know, Amber talked about setting alarms on your phone, I do it all the time, or set them out on the counter where you're gonna see it. Okay, so let's get into Slim and Skin. So Slim and Skin is your morning one. You put it into your coffee, drink, whatever it is that you like to drink. So what this does is get the fat, process, fat browning process started. So it has, the main, one of the main components of this is collagen and it has marine collagen in it which is a very um, highly digestible collagen, um, 
which is great because most people can tolerate um, the marine collagen. And the nice thing about collagen is that it's a it it's a boost to your metabolism, and it also is a um, appetite suppressant. So you kind of start your day with that little boost. You're not as hungry um, when you hit breakfast if it's like something that you take in your coffee before you get started. And it gives you a little bit of a feeling of well-being, I think. That's how I look at it. Um, and that's mostly due to the, um, the green coffee extract and the pure tea extract. And you'll people will ask, is there caffeine? Because most diet supplement things that are on the market are just full of caffeine because caffeine stimulates your metabolism, your metabolism stimulated, you tend to burn more calories. It's not, you don't feel so great though, right? Because you're so jittery. So Slim and Skin, the um, green coffee and the pure tea extract is taking out molecules that help boost your metabolism, give you that kind of um, energized feeling, but it's not caffeine. There's only 0.5 milligrams um, of caffeine in this packet, which is really a byproduct of those compounds. A cup of coffee is 95 to 100 milligrams of caffeine. So 0.5 milligrams would be considered negligible. A decaf coffee has about, I don't know, 20 to 30 milligrams. So decaf coffee isn't completely decaffeinated either. So this is even less than that. Um, one of the other things that's in Slim and Skin is medium chain triglycerides, MCTs, and that's another fat source that gets your body metabolizing fat more efficiently, and it kind of stimulates that um, the fat browning process kind of gets it going, gets your body in this fat burning state. Um, and then the top, there's a something called taurine in it, which taurine is another type of an amino acid that has been found to um, increase uh, brain activity and increase um, clarity and focus. So all of that is coming from these these items that are uh, part of the green coffee and the pure tea extract. Okay, and hyaluronic acid, which Amber touched on, which um, the collagen and the hyaluronic acid, they work together on the fat burning, and I mean the fat browning system, but they're also great for your skin and your hair. And the fact that this is collagen 17 and 22, you're not gonna find that, those collagens out on the market, 17 and 22, you, you tend to find like collagen one through three, um, and they'll say it's great for your hair, it's great for your skin. 17 and 22 are have been proven to be very good for your hair and your skin. So that's a thing that I think you're going to notice and you're going to hear from your customers. They're going to say, wow, my hair just seems thicker and fuller and my skin feels more hydrated. Even, you know, that's like your bonus to the fact that this is all about weight management. And the fact that the system is a weight management system, like we've talked about, it's a health system. So we've started our day with our slim and skin. We've gotten the um, fat browning process started. Fat browning doesn't just involve your digestive tract because that's kind of what we think. The food you take in, it's processed. You either store it as fat or you burn it off. But the fat browning process involves your digestive tract. It involves your immune system and it involves your brain um, health. So this system helps to support all of that. And that's what I find genius about it because it's not just looking at one thing, whereas a lot of diet systems on the market look at just bumping up your metabolism. And that's it. That's why there's so much caffeine in there. There's, there's all these things that just work on metabolism, whereas this is working on the health of the full system of your body to maintain your weight, to lose inches, to lose pounds. All right, so let's move into block and balance, which is your midday. Oh, and I didn't say about the slim and skin, but probably you guys have, most of you have tried it. It's tasteless, um, which I like because I like black coffee. I put it in my black coffee and there's no flavor to it. So it's, I think it's pretty mild in terms of people that are, that say, well, I don't, I don't, I don't like things that are flavored. 
whatever. So you're going to get all kinds of things from your customers. You just have to make sure that you're excited about the product because you've tried it. And I'm excited about the product because for me, the science is behind it and it's holding it up and it's unbelievable. So if the science is good to me, the product's good. All right. So black, black and balance is what you do midday. Like Amber was saying, it's something you want to get in before the bulk of your eating, which tends to happen from lunch on, right? We start, that's when all the snacking starts happening later in the day. So the main component of block and balance are prebiotics and probiotics. You've heard all about probiotics. You've heard all about your microbiome. You have a microbiome that's on your skin and you have a microbiome that's in your digestive tract really runs from your mouth all the way out. Um, and it's so important. As soon as we're born, we're colonized. You get colonized as soon as you come out and hit the air, you're starting to be colonized. And, and what I thought was kind of um, fascinating were the two organisms that they chose to um, put into the block and balance are the two organisms that you're first colonized with at birth. So it's kind of neat to me that we're going back to that or reestablishing that, those healthy bacteria that you started out with. And they're primarily there for um, carbohydrate and fat metabolism. They're very efficient at, at breaking down fats and carbohydrates and in such a way that your body can use them. And they're also um, involved in a feeling of a less craving feeling. So it knocks your cravings down. It knocks down bloating. So if you have a person that says, well, I'm always bloated, it's nine times out of 10 because their digestive tract and their microbiome is just out of whack. The organisms are not in balance. And this is gonna help put that all in balance. So the prebiotics that are in there are the food for the probiotics. And it's mostly um, carbohydrates that the bacteria like to eat and fiber. They love fiber um, to eat fiber. So I tell my customers when you first start this, water is very important. We're going to talk about water ad nauseum today because water is the key to all of these processes. If you're not taking in water, you're not going to brown your fat. That's it. That's the bottom line. You're not going to do it. You need water for these systems to work. So a person might start getting um, bloated and gassy when they first start this, and that's really because their digestive tract is adjusting to this and balancing out. When somebody says that to me, I say, great, that's what you want to happen. Just stick with it. I know it's uncomfortable right now. Give it a couple days. It will go away. That's your digestive tract really getting itself stabilized. Um, and the other thing that's in the midday is all the components are most of the components that you really need for your immune system to support your immune system. Um, there's B vitamins, there's B6, there's pretty much almost all of the um, B vitamins are in here. There's vitamin C, vitamin D. So it's almost like taking your little one a day vitamin along with your probiotics. And those vitamins and nutrients are so crucial to supporting your immune system. And so why is the immune system so important to fat browning, right? They seem very separate. But as we've learned over the years is that none of these systems are separate. They all work hand in hand synergistically. And in adipose tissue, which is cell, uh, fat tissue, whether it's white fat or brown fat, are immune cells. So cells of the immune system are found within the um, fat tissue or at the fat cells that surround it, there's, there's other cells around it. And there's, so there's a lot of immune cells and there are also a lot of nerves that are innervating the um, tissue. So that's communication with your nervous system, with your immune system and with your digestive tract. And this system brings all of that together and supports it all because if your immune system is off, your digestive tract is going to be off. If your digestive tract is going to be off, you're not feeling good. You're not healthy. So it 
it all walks together. So this, like I said, it has a lot of components that support um, your immune system. And those immune cells that are in the white fat tissue, they produce proteins and components that then push those white fat cells to brown fat cells. So they're all talking to each other. It's a big soup of communication going on and they're all communicating. So you want your immune system humming along to keep this fat browning going. All right, so I think that, I just wanna make sure I hit everything on, on this. And it's kind of a lemony taste. And what I like about this is you can just dump it in your mouth so you don't have to worry about it. It's easy to transport and just dump it right in. You could put it in your water because it might help you drink more water um, to have a little bit of flavoring in it, but water is key. So you're, you're throughout the day, that's what you're doing. You're drinking all this water. All right, so the last packet is our Cleansing Calm. And I like the fact that Amber said it might be one of the most important steps and it's the one we all forget. And I'm, I'm a, I forget too, and I'll be in bed and be like, oh, I forgot to do it and I don't want to get up, right? I need, I'm going to start setting my clock on my phone because I forget it probably, I forget it way more than I forget the other ones. And this one is probably one of the more crucial steps because in the evening when you're asleep is when all the magic is happening. That's when your body is recovering from what went on during the day. It's when you are, um, all that food is being broken down and moved, all the nutrients and vitamins and components that are necessary for your immune system, for your um, digestive tract, for your brain health. They're all moving out of your intestines into your bloodstream to where they have to go. So that's when everything's calm and your body can kind of do its thing and hum along without excess activity getting in the way of it. So um, in this cleansing calm, it, what it's doing is supporting your sleep and it's been found and that is even before all the fat um, science, it was found that sleep is very crucial to your health in general. So it's crucial to your brain, to your immune system, to your digestive tract. Um, we all, and we're so stressed, we have so many things going on. Probably sleep is one of those things that nine times out of 10 people will say, I have sleep issues. So this helps calm you down. Um, so what is in the cleansing calm is this component called the happy banana extract, which I love the name of it. It comes from the banana plant. Um, what it really is, is tryptophan. So tryptophan is something that we naturally produce and it's what is converted to melatonin. I think you've probably all heard about melatonin. That's what helps you to fall asleep. When it starts getting dark outside, our body starts producing melatonin, gets us ready to go to sleep. We're very sensitive to light and dark that's going on outside, not the lamps you turn on and off. It's what's going on outside. Um, so as it gets later, your body starts working on tryptophan to convert it to melatonin. So this gives you a little extra tryptophan, which is kind of like when they talk about when you eat Thanksgiving dinner and you get really sleepy after dinner because um, turkey muscle, which is what you're eating, contains a lot of tryptophan. Um, so the tryptophan is what helps you relax and start to um, just feel like you could fall asleep. And then within here is also um, broccoli sprout powder, spinach juice powder. Um, there's monk fruit that gives it a little bit of sweetness, but, but all those vegetables supply added minerals and vitamins that maybe you didn't get during the day out of your diet that also help to keep the bacteria, the microbiome of your digestive tract happy, supply it with more food and then um, supply your bloodstream with things that you needed, nutrients you needed throughout the day, which helps the fat browning process. All of these are involved um, in the fat browning, even though I'm talking about all these other systems, they work together to 
to brown your fat. And water, water, water. If you don't have the water and you're not drinking enough water, it's not going to happen. Or it's going to happen so slow that your customers are going to complain. So my first question when they say, it's not working for me, I say, are you drinking water? And they'll say, yeah, I drink a lot of water. So I always ask, how much are you drinking? And they really need to do that half their body weight in ounces of water and then an extra 12 ounces um, for every 30 minutes of movement or exercise. I think they should be drinking as much water as they can where at night they're not getting up every hour to go to the bathroom because then you're defeating the sleep part of it. So like for me, 96 ounces is where I'm at. If I go above 96, I'm up all night. If I go below, I feel like it's not enough. So you got to play around with the water, but they can baby step their way up to it. They don't have to um, just dive in, you know, right out of the gate. All right, I got to finish up because I know I'm probably running over because I always do. So the pillars are key. Amber went over all the pillars, hydration, breathing, movement, um, making good food choices, which will just happen. This is a be kind of a behavior modification system without them really realizing it. Slowly, it will happen. Reduce their eating window and make sure they know that they don't have to do it all at once, right? They can slowly up their movement. They can slowly up their water. Um, they can slowly um, back off the time they eat. they stop eating. All right, and then can I have the slides again on the protein powder? I'll just quickly go through the protein powder fast. Okay, so the protein powder, anyway, what sets it apart is the fact so that it is vegan. It has very few ingredients. If you read the ingredient list on this and then go to the grocery store, it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah, we can just toss that. It's low in calories, 120 calories, but it supplies 20 grams of protein. We don't take in enough protein, and this is a great way to get uh, protein quickly and easily. So you can just mix it in water and go. Um, can I have the next slide? So the, the thing that sets it apart for me um, are the magnesium, the zinc, and the iron. It, it's pretty rare you find those components in, in other um, systems or other protein powders okay. on the market. Um, I can, so right zinc is important for your immune system. It, it's crucial for your immune system. And if you don't have enough zinc, your immune system just isn't working the, as well as it should. If it's not working, you're not going to produce, you're not going to build um, protein. You're not going to continue fat browning, all of those things. And protein is so crucial to the whole system because we run on protein and we don't take in enough. So that is going to help um, reduce cravings, going to be more um, satiating, I think is the word Amber wanted. It, and it, you're just going to feel more full, but it's a necessary thing to build muscle and to maintain your muscle because we're losing muscle as we age. Magnesium. Um, magnesium is so important and an underlooked um, mineral, it everything is run with magnesium. So all of these processes, the fat browning processes, every really every process of the body requires magnesium. Um, it also has been found to magnesium um, helps to reduce stress and anxiety. So a lot of people are deficient in magnesium because their diets are so poor. And anxiety tends to go up as you're the less protein you're consuming and if your diet is poor, meaning you're not getting magnesium from foods in, in your diet. So it's a really key component that's not, you you will not find that in other um, protein powders. So I thought that was genius that they put that in there because that's really helping your fat browning. All of this is working together for the, um, the fat browning. Okay, um, can I have the, I think there's one more slide. Last slide. So th this is just to sum it all up that the protein powder helps boost your energy, reduce oh. your stress and give you so. good nutrition. Just remember to tell your people if they're making right. smoothies out of it and adding a lot oh, of calories, oh, which is great, you know, to make a smoothie. 
it's now become a meal replacement. It's not a snack. So they have to watch the, the calories because as you're adding that, you're not at 120 calories anymore. You might be at 500 calories. So just to, to be aware of that. Um, all right. So I think that was all because I know I've run over. Um, stress the 90 days because everybody's different and this process takes time. Oh, yeah. Okay, and all of this information it's is in okay, the back I'll office, try. too, all those slides, so if you want to go back through those slides, it's all there. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing all of your knowledge and um, information, and it was so just informative. I know so many people heard a lot of information for the first time, and if you don't have just massive belief about what new... New York it is after I listen to MC 